Hey there. Well, there were a lot of comments and discussions regarding my last two politics-oriented videos, and I'm glad for that. Let me make something clear. You cannot claim that someone is intolerant just because they belong to a particular demographic, a demographic that consists of things people have no control over. You are a racist piece of shit if you go around claiming that white people are intolerant or racist just because they're white. That it's somehow in white people's very nature. Now, I'm guessing that some people will watch this and be shaking their heads saying, we don't use that definition of racism. Well, I don't really care. Okay, how about this? Why don't I word it differently? I'll say, prejudice based on race instead. Does that make you happy? And no, I, I'm not going to kiss the asses of people who want to use non-dictionary, non-colloquial, non-historical definitions of words. If you refuse to use the dictionary, historical, and colloquial definitions of the word racism, you can expect to not have a good attitude brought your way. You know, I say the same with some feminists who claim that being male makes you sexist by default. Or that if you're straight or cisgender, you're homophobic or transphobic by default. Yeah, you don't get to do that without being called out for it. And if you want to go on and on about power plus privilege plus prejudice, you know, go do it to someone else. Okay, I understand that you use these stupid new definitions in order to, you know, destroy any conversation that verges from your narrative. Oh, but if you use our definition, men are sexist by default. Go fuck yourself. I'm not going to respect your redefining of language in order to promote your narrative. Someone has to prove that they're racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, in order for you to call them that. Someone's demographic by itself doesn't prove jack shit. I don't care what kind of statistics you bring out saying, oh, well, this percentage of people are. That still doesn't mean that everyone is. That doesn't mean you get to declare that just because someone is of a particular demographic that they're guilty of something. If it's wrong for one side to stereotype people, then it's wrong for the other side to stereotype people. Doesn't matter if you think you're justified and righteous. It doesn't matter. When I talk negatively about religion, I am in no way claiming that all religious people fit that narrative. I've tried to make it clear many times. Hey, I'm, I'm not talking about everyone. But I am saying that if you buy into just about everything that comes from that religion, and you don't call out the bigotry in any way, or push against it in any way, and you get mad when other people call it out, then it is kind of likely that you're either bigoted or intolerant yourself, or you make excuses for those who are. I say the same thing about anyone who gleefully clings to any sort of ideology. If you're a feminist, and you try to pretend that there aren't quite a few feminists who are stating bigoted and intolerant views in the name of feminism, or you declare that you don't care if they do, or that it doesn't matter, then you're essentially ignoring a huge blight on the movement, or you're making excuses for it. And you're part of the problem. I've talked about this stuff before, and I hate constantly having to repeat myself, but you know, there it is. Thanks for watching.